This is pancit. You've probably eaten this in one form or another at countless birthday parties, family celebrations, and backward cookouts. This party favorite is as well loved by Filipinos as rice. Going back to pre-colonial times, this classic dish has had a long life in the Philippines. Pun intended. <laughs> this is the story of pancit. The Chinese were the first to trade with the Philippines. Merchants introduced soy sauce, fish sauce, and noodles. Pancit actually comes from the Hokkien term, pian es sit, which literally means convenient food, which we might call today as fast food. Chinese merchants brought this dish over as baon and eventually made the version of it using local ingredients. During the Spanish occupation of the islands, the dish became popular amongst laborers. Chinese hawkers, known as hawkers, sold these outside factories and demand for the quick and easy meal quickly grew. Pancit became one of the first Filipino street food. Regions across the archipelago eventually adopted this dish and made it their own, each with its own local flair. Pancit Canton is the quintessential birthday noodle. Though its name suggests that it is of Chinese origin, this dish has no roots in Canton province now known as Guangdong. Some theorize that this may have been a clever marketing ploy savvy pancitero back in the day. Well, it worked! Stir-fried in soy sauce and ginger, this savory dish is cooked with a medley of toppings. Shrimp, squid, quail eggs, and fish balls. It is believed that eating this at your celebrations will bring you long life. As long as you don't cut the noodles. Pancit luglo gets its name because of the way it's cooked. Luglo, which means to submerge. These thick rice noodles are cooked by plunging them in water. It's usually topped with a thick and bright orange shrimp sauce topped with hard-boiled egg and crunchy chicharron. When done with thin bihon noodles, this dish is known as palabok, a dish typically eaten as merienda. Pancit lomi is known for its soupy sauce. This dish hails from Batangas and was invented by a restaurateur in 1968. This nude is so popular that it has its own festival. Celebrated in conjunction to the capital city's founding anniversary, this festival includes a lomi eating contest where they crown a lomi king and queen. This distinctly Batangueño dish is made with egg noodles, pork liver, shrimp, and vegetables. These are just some of the many versions of pancit. Whether it's stir-fried with meat, dripping in sauce, or swimming in broth, almost every region has their own unique take on noodles. Though it's evolved to become a Filipino party staple, you can still enjoy pancit as a fast food. You can easily find it as an instant snack found in convenience stores or as a part of a value meal at Filipino fast food chains. Whether you're piling mounds of it onto your plate at a cookout, twirling those long noodles at a birthday, or slurping on them as a midnight snack, there's no denying that Pancit's long history in the archipelago is as delicious and colorful as the dish itself.